Hello everybody. Welcome to our midweek Holy Communion. I'm going to play for us our first hymn as we wait and allow for more people to join us uh, before we start the live streaming service. Welcome everybody, welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Welcome to all. before we start our service. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Brothers and sisters, when we come before God, we are mindful that we are sinful people. So let us call to mind the areas in which we have failed God, failed ourselves, and fail the people around us. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, but we have turned aside from your way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word is a light on our path, but we have walked in the darkness of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leaving us to everlasting life, but we have not listened to your voice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God, who forgive all who truly repent, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray the collect for today. Eternal Father, whose Son Jesus Christ ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King. Keep the church in the unity of the Holy Spirit and in the bound of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Matthew chapter 15, reading from verses 21. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and give it to the dogs. 
Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Even the dogs eat the crumbs that falls from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus and his disciples are taking a break in a Gentile territory, away from the pressures of the crowd and the Pharisees. But somehow, this Canaanite woman heard where Jesus was, and she came to him for help. She is a descendant of a pagan people who were Israel's enemy. She begs Jesus to deliver her daughter from a demon-possessed spirit, perhaps a form of mental illness or epilepsy. I want to draw your attention to two verses from our reading today. Verses 24. The woman asked Jesus for help, to which Jesus answers, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Jesus ignores the woman at first, then he refuses her request. Jesus explains that his ministry is only to the Israelites. <laughs> the way Jesus responded to this woman did not destroy her faith, but rather developed her faith. Her own reply showed that she was growing in faith and unwilling to let Jesus go without getting an answer. <laughs> the second verse I want to draw your attention to is verses 26. Jesus answered and said to her, It is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Now, this is a maligning insult. She asks Jesus on her knees to make her an exception. But Jesus still refuses. Then Jesus teases her with a racial insult that the Israelites are God's children and the Gentiles are mere dogs. She said, yes, Lord, yet, even the dogs eat the crumbs that falls from their master's table. Then Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly at that moment. This woman was patient and persistent in her faith and for what she was believing for. She persisted in asking and trusting when everything seems to be against her. Certainly, her race was against her. She was a Gentile. Her sex was against her. For most Jewish rabbis paid little attention to women in the Greco-Roman world. The disciples were also against her, for they said to Jesus, Send her away, for she keeps crying after us. And Jesus' own answer to the woman suggested that Jesus was also against her. Yet, in spite of all these obstacles and difficulties, the woman persisted in what she was asking Jesus for. So the lesson here is this, my dear friend. If you are believing God for something, it may be a new job, it may be a new baby, it may be that you want a pregnancy that you can have babies, it may be that you want a financial breakthrough, it may be that you want to be successful in your school, in your academics, it may be that you want to be successful in raising your children. Whatever it is that you are praying to God for, 
The lesson this woman is teaching us today is that we must be patient and persistent in our believing, in our faith, and in our praying to God. Because in the end, God shall supply all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Let's respond to the sermon by affirming our faith in God. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, the source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God, the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and make Christ known in all the world? We believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we pray for your church worldwide. We pray for Christians across the globe. We ask for your blessings and grace to be upon us all as we live our lives and witness to your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for our local church here, St. Lawrence. We pray for our congregation members. We pray for the residents and we pray for the businesses in our parish. We pray for those who live and work in our parish for your blessing upon all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we bring before you our world. We pray for the nations of the world. We pray for leaders of the nations of the world. We pray that you will bring peace, justice and healing to your world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We bring before you the United Kingdom. We pray for the leaders of this nation. And we remember especially Boris Johnson and his cabinet. We pray for the opposition leader and his shadow cabinet. We pray for all members of parliament, especially our own members of parliament here in Southend. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we bring before you the NHS. We pray for consultants, doctors, nurses, and volunteers. We pray for all who work in the NHS. We bring before you GP surgeries. We pray for your blessing upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We bring before you all who work in the emergency services. We pray for the police, the ambulance services and the fire brigade. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We bring before you all those who are sick. We remember especially today those who are sick and are known to us. We pray for your healing hands upon them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We pray for all those who have died in the faith of Christ. We pray for families and friends who are mourning the loss of their loved one. We pray for those who are preparing to say goodbye to their family members, that your blessing may be upon them. Strengthen them in this time of loss with the hope of your eternal glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. And so, Father, we bring ourselves before you. We pray for ourselves, our families, and our friends. We pray for our neighbors that you will enable us by your spirit to live in love for you and for one another. Surrounded by the prayers of all the saints, we commend the whole human family into your loving care. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. 
We meet in his name and we share his peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another the sign of peace by waving to the screen. <laughs> A moment of silence as we meet God in the breaking of the bread. The Lord is here. His spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. From the beginning you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You gave us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels and with all the powers of heaven, we may find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord. God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly guards her children, you embrace a people as your own. When they turn away and rebel, your love remains steadfast. From them you raise up Jesus, our Saviour, born of Mary, to be the living bread, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arm for us on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends. Taking bread, he gave you thanks and broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory, and we rejoice that he intercede for us at your right hand. Pour out your Holy Spirit as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. As we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory. And bring us at last to the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints to the vision of that eternal splendor for which you have created us through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and in whom and with whom with all who stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's presence with us, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. Brothers and sisters, Holy Communion is ready. I'm going to take communion on behalf of all who are watching. While I do that, I'm going to play our next hymn. Please use this time to reflect and bring anything on your heart before God. Let's say the prayer after communion together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Amen. I shall see you on Sunday. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>